Now we'll dive deeper into the initiative options within the uh, community, I'm sorry, within the premium version of ArcGIS Hub. So ArcGIS Hub comes with an initiative framework. Uh, our, our, the Hub premium version comes with an initiative framework, and it has two sort of paths or patterns that we, we, we've outlined. Uh, the first one I'll show is the create from scratch. And it's, you know, uh, create new, name it, we give you that starter site, but it's really about assembling and putting together all the pieces yourself. So getting your apps, you, getting all the content, your narrative is already assembled, but you have to put it all together. So let's go ahead and show a bit of what that looks like in the premium uh, version of ArcGIS Hub. So let me come over to... All right, so as you can see here, I'm back in ArcGIS Hub Premium. I'm on the internal hub overview, and you see here we've got the initiative section. So here I can go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, names, uh, name one, a uh, really creative name there, my uh, second test initiative. This is our second session for today. And again, similar to what Brenda showed, it's, uh, you know, it's organizing everything and getting uh, essentially the initiative, the teams, the groups set up within uh, ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Hub, uh, the application. So uh, that's what's building and getting constructed here. Um, and when it's all done, you'll see that it lands us right on that first starter site. You can see it's a slight variation, slightly different um, um, than the one Brenda showed, but the, a lot of the capabilities are similar. I can change out images, rename things, uh, but you can see this one's very generalized. It's all about us queuing you and giving you different tools to have timelines and various things, but ultimately it's your content and you're uh, you know, editing uh, it as you need and, and going forward. So one of some of the other capabilities that are important to highlight, um, you know, beyond just viewing the site, is all the other capabilities that come with the premium version. You can begin to see them here in our uh, easy, you know, sort of navigation that wraps around um, the product. You've got your engagement dashboard. So once this is live, how many people are following it, viewing it? And this is an area we'll be expanding over time. Is um, we're having a really comprehensive engagement dashboard, if you will. There's the teams capability. So I'll come right back to that. There's also events, so think about Brenda, you know, call it kind of an, an event bright within mm -hmm. uh, ArcGIS Hub, and it's really what it is. So have the ability to have one or many events within many initiatives. Managing community, easy access to the content library, that was coming up in the questions is, how do I access the content library? So it's, it's right here, and then your groups manager. A really uh, easy way to manage uh, all the aspects you need uh, to collaborate with people on uh, this particular initiative. So let's look at teams in particular, because here we've got, so we've got a team of one right now, uh, but see how easy it is to add more. So we've got a couple other people that are uh, ready to collaborate on this. And the, the unique thing I want to point out here is that, so right now we're seeing members of our organization. So this would be the city of Redlands has three people working on this organization. But the key is the ability to add in community members. So now I'm looking at uh, you know community members. This could be ones we've invited, ones that have followed. And I can then add them to the team and we can co-create and work on this initiative together. So a really uh, powerful key capability of our initiative, um, uh, our initiative uh, construct here. So that was the sort of a quick look at the start from scratch or, or uh, uh, a create new um, pattern. And now I'm gonna go back over to our slides and highlight the other area, which are our ready to use templates and describe what they are, you know, why we've built these and give you examples and ways to think about how to leverage all of them or pieces of them. So first, what is it? Uh, ready to use initiative templates are really uh, how we have sort of carefully crafted um, what are the best aspects of ArcGIS and the needed tools that give our users the ability 
to take them and leverage them uh, while they're planning, creating, and executing their strategies around a policy commitment that's made, made in the community or just a, an initiative or project they need to collaborate with, uh, with um, constituents or other trusted collaborators on. You can see here on the right, it's kind of like it's, it's, a, it's a demo version we created of an economic development initiative that highlights what are sort of the key things that are, uh, that are packaged together or enrolled out when trying to tackle or convey that, say, in this instant, your city is open for business and you know, uh, come start a business within this community. And so here we have a, a shot of our initiative gallery, which we'll show more in the next demonstration, but also um, the specific ready-to-use templates that are in the product today. So every Hub Premium user has access to this gallery and can preview, activate, and begin leveraging these sp specific initiatives. So encourage project feedback, grow your local economy, and so on. I'm going to actually take a tour of encourage pro uh, take you all on a tour of encourage project feedback and performance management um, next. So let's go ahead and dive into that. browser here so okay so I'm back on the hub overview inside the premium version and you can see here like like before I, I'll start out by clicking new but instead of creating uh, my own blank or starter initiative I'm gonna go ahead and browse templates and you'll see here now we're in the initiative gallery and you can see here these are you know it was on sorted uh, from the ones by Esri there's also going to be ones available to view and 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 begin working on that are developed by your organization ones that are individually owned by you but not shared with any yet is how our gallery is sort of operating today so you can begin to see here we've got encourage project feedback performance management as well as some of the others that we've uh, packaged together and, and really the, the reason and the, the, the reasoning and the methodology uh, we've taken so far, um, our users ask us, why did you pick these? Um, these are coming up. These are common concerns within uh, the community. These are also our industry and business development leads advising us, like, what are users telling us that they need kind of ready-to-use tools around? Like, how can we take our subject matter expertise, focus on a topic, and then give you tools needed to execute your strategy around those particular topics? So let's go ahead and check out um, a few of these. So uh, first, let's go ahead and look at um, performance management. So performance management, a city you know, uh, or a county or state being committed to being transparent about how they're performing, you know, where they need to improve, what areas they're doing well. And so we've packaged together um, uh, different capabilities for you to uh, you know, leverage and make your own. So you got the starter website, um, and this view is called the initiative editor inside the Hub product. But it comes with a starter website that we'll show. And then you can begin to see here many operations dashboards configurations. That was a question that came up. Uh, can we leverage uh, ops dashboard? And uh, we're absolutely, you can, and we're doing it in this. So you can see different ops dashboards configurations that are focused on different topics. And then you can see here that we also have a survey one, two, three uh, uh, form included in here. So let's go ahead and check out the website um, uh, that would be kind of maybe like your first uh, instance of working with this. Imagine activating this and then getting into edit mode and begin making it your own. But this sort of gives a, bit, a better preview of what this like could externally look like. You see very, you know, the website here, uh, queuing users to use it in certain ways. And then here you see the various dashboards that are included in here, highlighting a pattern that Brenda showed off, which is the gallery cards. You see the different galleries. These are essentially galleries that are linking off to different dashboard configurations. You can see the different icons here that allow users to get right to the data. And then you can see how we've placed a survey in here where you could take this section, uh, change the image, or change the coloring, and integrate your own survey right right in here. If we were to click on one of the dashboard pages, you know it would look like this. So you can see the different categories and the site design have been outplayed like this. And these are all live, dynamic. We, we've got demo data in here, but this is all uh, you know real. I'll say demo data uh, that highlights what's possible with this particular initiative. So another one that we're we're really excited about um, um, because it's such a common use case 
and as this was rolled out just before you see this here, is called Encouraging Project Feedback. So I have a project in the community uh, that's happening, whether it's an infrastructure or a redesign of a park or a sustainability project. We want to engage the public. We want to get feedback on this and do it in a modern and compelling way to get them more engaged and ensure we're delivering what the community actually needs uh, and making this project more successful. So this particular initiative template includes two basic elements, uh, but it actually has a lot of powerful capabilities um, kind of hidden within it that I'll show next. So a website, you know, just a, basically your starter website, and then one survey. But in reality, it's got a lot more capabilities. And this one is extra exciting for us because it actually shows uh, the ArcGIS Hub working alongside the ArcGIS Urban product. And I'll begin to see that here. So again, you know, the starter website here, you know, allowing you to you know, communicate out what this project is all about, you know, introducing it, giving a, a quick status on timelines, um, you know, uh, different sort of aspects of what phase the project's in different ways to communicate goals. Uh, you can see here uh, showing off what Brenda highlighted, uh, how you can easily literally drop a, a video, a uh, YouTube video in and show what this, in this case, what the future development of this area was gonna look like in our demonstration site. And then here we get to a really interesting part. So here you see ArcGIS Urban. You know, you see uh, an interactive uh, 3D scene or project from ArcGIS Urban that is basically, you know, this would be communicating out that they're redeveloping the Chase Center Arena and where a user can actually give feedback within the application and initiative site about this particular project. Um, and then you can see different other aspects of the project gallery. So while we're looking at this one, I wanna go over and talk about what's possible here. So I'm gonna go over to a real user example, something we just found from our, our customer, City of Tucson. Uh, and you can see here that they have a project going on around bikes and this particular section of uh, what I imagine is their city where they're adding more bike lanes and doing things. And you can begin to see that some of the elements of the initiative, this initiative uh, look similar because essentially they've borrowed aspects of that initiative template. They've integrated their own map, obviously showing what they're gonna do as far as adding more bike lanes, I believe. They've used our, our, our milestone and timeline showing where they're at and where the project life cycle is gonna be. Recast and recalibrated a little bit what the goals would be like and then use different aspects of it. And you can see here that they've got their own survey, probably saving them 60, 70% of the time and just allowing this project manager to be more successful quickly and delivering something out to the, uh, out to the public. And you can see it's inherited their branding. They've got their colors, their city logos, and, and things like that. So uh, it's really a great demonstration of how you can take one of our topical or policy-based initiatives, use it for something, use parts of it for something, or just look and use uh, aspects that you like from others within the initiative template gallery for inspiration or ideas to do something unique on your own. Um, so let's go ahead and come back over to... Um, slides and do a bit of a recap. So a review and then a Q&A. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just recap initiatives can be created from scratch or using our ready to use uh, templates or a combination of both. That's really what we saw here. We saw kind of like how you can use them both in, in, in concert. Um, you know, again, the, the, all the templates or starter sites, uh, they're, they're, they're designed with a lot of effort put into it to create kind of a consumer grade experience, all mobile, fully responsive websites. And then, you know, again, you can adjust any of these. You could take our, you know, tackle the opioid e epidemic uh, uh, initiative template and completely recast it on a completely different subject um, just because there were maybe some elements of that particular one that you liked.